Yeah, that's a powerful performance. This one's really good. And the visuals are just. It just it gives so it good. like some more like. What's the word? It's just, it's not crazy. It's like. It's dark. It's dark. Moody. Oh my God. Yeah, that's crazy. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's bro. a performance. That's, that's easy. It's like, it's like shit. In another lifetime, like, hmm. Maybe in this lifetime, who the fuck knows? Killer Mike and LP didn't make it until like their 40s or, or late 30s. I mean, well, I guess LP got pretty, like still had a lot of successful stuff earlier on. Same with Killer Mike, like with this Pledge series. Mm. So they still had a lot of work that was like okay. on this level. But when they formed to make Run the Jewels, you're right. They, they, did make it to a, they did make it to a level which was beyond what they both would have thought they would have ever got to. Incredible duo there. And best friends. But like- I see, I see potential. When I look at people, when I see things, and I look at myself, I like see potential. So I'm do like, I. So like, I see potential in you. Like fuck, man. Like oh yeah, I see potential in you too. It's true. When you meet someone you, and you learn more about them, and they they let themselves like they let themselves out, so you learn more about them. That's when you start to be like, you just see all the potential. And then I see what we do with Jungle Beats by accident. Yeah, that was an accident. Accident, and I'm like, I see. Okay, if enough. If, if, you, if I make enough money in this field, right, in general, well, we did a, we did a, we did a, st- we did a show. We did a one hip hop show a week, a radio, a radio show, yeah. right? Well, the first question I ever asked was how do I make my own radio station? I wasn't even thinking show. I'm like, fuck a show. Yeah. Let's do a station. Tyler the Creator did that. Did he? Yeah, dude. He didn't like a lot of the radio. So he, he, he has his own radio station now in America. It's called Golf Wang Radio. Is he? Yeah. And he goes on the round every now and again. And he has like a bunch of people that he like kind of not hand picks, but like they go to him. He's like, yeah, I want you my radio station. He has his own radio station. Is this worldwide? Is this like a state? Just, just American. Wow. Okay. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. Legitimately. He started his own radio station. So hip hop is not still to me, not represented effectively in Australia. No, it's not. I had this conversation with Chris the other day. It's about like, there are still so many people that are just older white men, not to be precise, that still control what goes on in Australia. Like at the moment, there are so many new artists in Australia that are doing like, that are doing hyper pop or doing like a lot of other genres that are exploding right now, but no one is supporting them because they have so much control on what they want to be released. That's why so much hip hop, like the Bliss Nessos, the Hilltop Pours, the Illies, is so dumbed down, so formu- formulaic, for- formula- formulative, formulative. But there's just all the music that is being projected in Australia on a mainstream level is controlled so that it can be basically so that old white people and people within, like, it, they just, they just, like, it's safe. Standard industry shit. Yeah, no, Australia is fucked right now. The people that are controlling music in Australia and have the money are just not letting anyone with anything outside of a certain box to be to, to make money off it. That's, that's why like money's so important. Because yeah, I want to say fuck fuck your fuck your standards. Yeah. Fuck that bullshit. Yeah. We'll do it ourselves. Exactly. And that's where I'm at. That's why that's where so many Australians people in the music industry are at. Like trust, there are so many motherfuckers. That's why there's so much a big thing about being independent these days. It's hard as fuck. Only a few people can successfully do it because of how hard it's to do. And so look, man, life is long. So shit, if I can leverage this industry and be successful in the industry I'm in now and profession I'm in now, then I I take that equity to the next industry. Start (laughs) already. We got kicked off our, our hip hop. Uh, show right in yeah. that station we're at, and that's yeah. energy is still in me. Yeah, I don't know about you. No, it's still there as well. Like, why did we get kicked off? Because we're using a space that no one was using to begin with, and we're creating content for people that are listening to it. Yet and, apparently, and they were very sensitive to the to the words that we said. Yes, on, which, on the air. Which honestly, like, come on. Yeah, like um, th- that's we talked about it on Jungle Beats. Like, you go look at that. Uh, but okay. If you're the owner, no one kicks you off. Mm. You own the shit. You own that shit. Jay-Z, until you own your own, you can't be free. Yep, it's, it's, that's so powerful. It's like, no matter how much you climb your way through things and get to where you want to be, it's true. If you're still working for someone else, you aren't in control. So- Because they can tell you no at any point. Man, unless someone else does it in the next five, 10 years, if I got the, if I got the equity, I got the, the space and the mental space and time, I'll, 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 we'll Joe Rogan hip hop for this, this country. Oh yeah. Let's fucking lead this country. For hip hop and music 
and like we know between us plenty of local artists. Yeah, I would want, I'd, I'd be like, look, if you're a young ass, you make shit, just honestly come to us. And if it's not good, I'll tell you outright, but to keep working, I don't give up. But if your shit's good and no one else is supporting you, we'll fucking be a platform for you. And fuck your Spotify, we'll be the Spotify for live radio. Yeah. Or, or maybe it goes beyond that. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have to be a station, but I feel like a station legitimizes it to be on it a does. frequency. It does. Like Hot 97. Yeah. Power 105. Yeah. They're, and they've all got their personality hosts as well that people know them for too. And, and then we can we can hire people and work with people and they can come on and they can do their own thing. Like we like they can we can hire a jungle beats like that come in and yeah. do their thing on on air like we did. Exactly. <sighs> I don't know how much money you need. I have no idea how that begins. Me neither, but it is something that definitely I want to be a part of in the future. Because yeah, one of the, my biggest grinds with Australia is just the wrong people are in control and they just don't believe in, you know, new art. They just, they just believe in old art and just doing that same shit, which is just not what it is. I'm putting that on a bucket list. Oh yeah, I've got a big ass bucket list. What's going on? And that's how it should be. I'm a very ambitious person. I feel like every week I have new goals and then I'll Do you write them down? You gotta write them down. I don't write any of if them If they're down. that meaningful to you. Everything's meaningful to me. <laughs> But if I, the way I look at it is if I wrote all this shit down, it would be too overwhelming for me. Okay. Well, what's, is there one in particular that is very ambitious? Is this one of them? My main three goals right now are B, 